You are now listening to the Highly Evolved Podcast with your host, Safan. Transmission will commence momentarily. How you guys doing? This is the Highly Evolved Podcast. My name is Safan. You can find me on Twitter and Gap.ai. But before you start, I want to say if you're not a real American patriot, if you are a socialist, Marxist, communist, please exit the channel. This channel is only for real American patriots. And on that note, guys, let's start the show. On this episode, I will be talking what's going on in the fast food industry with Burger King, especially with Burger King and what they're trying to release right now. If you're not aware, Burger King is doing this promo on this thing called an Impossible Burger. All right? They're doing all this stuff, not just Burger King, but I'm seeing a trend here. All right. Burger King have the Impossible Burger, meaning it's a meatless burger, right? Not only that, places like Del Taco are selling vegan tacos, right? And and Cars Jr. have their, what, Beyond Burger or whatever it is, right? So they're, they're, push, they're really pushing this vegan thing, right? If you don't know what vegan is, vegan is basically a practice of... Um, of um, um, what's that thing called? It's a practice of depopulations, all right? They try to get people to get ready because they're pushing this idea of global warming that cows is a bad thing, all right? And cows are leading causes of global warming, with example, cow farts. So they don't want us to eat any more meat. By eliminating cows. By us not eating more meat, there's no need for us to have any more cow cattle fields. That's what I believe. That's what I think. So to try to transition and try to make the idea of veganism a popular thing, which when you look at veganism, all right, it's not really healthy at all. Some people that I, that I know went to veganism, right, and suddenly feel ill. And when, as soon as they eat meat again, they become better. They, 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 they're... Their health improved big time. All right? It just shows you that vegan is not a it's not a healthy it's not a healthy diet. It's not. All right, there are some. Now I'm saying there are some nutrients in vegetable that we need, but there are some that some nutrients in vegetable that it, they, it doesn't have that we need. All right, and and we supplement that by eating meat. Meat, meat have this other um, nutrients that plants don't have. All right, beta carotene, not beta carotene, um, B12, and creatine. Creatine can only produce in meat products. It is proven that if you eat creatine, it boosts up your longevity. All right, creatine gives you that energy. Why do you think when you eat meat, it's, you feel so satiated? All right, when you eat meat, you feel like you have a lot of energy. All right, and you don't feel like that when you eat vegetables or a vegan diet. You don't feel like that. I don't, especially. I was on a vegan diet. I didn't I feel like crap. All right? <clears throat> I'm not saying that you should not eat root, fruits and vegetables. I'm saying meat and vegetables and fruit, they complement each other. All right? And and they try pushing this idea that you go, it's optimal, it's very optimal if you just only eat um, vegetables. No, you're missing a key part of nutrients. All right? When they're pushing this, this vegan diet, they're, they're, really, they're really pushing this um, eugenicist plant agenda, all right? Getting people sick on purpose, all right? When you don't have a certain nutrition, your body can't fight off certain infections, all right? That's why veganism is so bad because you're lacking nutrition. You're really lacking nutrition. You're only eating fruit and vegetables, all right? And you're missing a key component that meat prov- provided, all right? Regardless of what you, what kind of meat, pork, whatever, you know, people had to believe what kind of pork. At least you're eating meat, all right? Because meat has this this component in itself to help you feel satiated, all right? If you want to go b- biblical, Jesus never said don't eat meat. He ate fish, all right? He ate with the he ate with people, all right? He didn't have an all vegan diet. And they're coming out with this this new trend, right, within the vegan community. They have this meat meat substitute called Satan. See, they want to pronounce it Satan, right? When you look at it, it's really Satan. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an imitation meat product that's, that's called Satan, made of, what, bean paste or whatever it is, right? 
And I know I'm getting a lot of heat from vegans for saying all this stuff. Is it really a, a gender-driven thing? Right? This impossible meat, this impossible burger. This meat substitute, this imitation meat. And you know, anything that's made by man isn't really safe at all. Right? When you look at all this stuff that's made by man, it's not safe. GMOs is not safe. All right? They don't understand. The one the truly safe thing is the natural ingredients. All right? How you know this meat pro this fake meat product is a safe thing? You don't know what they injected in this thing? All right? What kind of chemicals they put in this meat byproduct? Or this imitation meat beyond burger? Impossible burger? Come on now. If you if you are craving meat, why not just eat the real thing? I don't understand that. Why did they make it so difficult on themselves? If you are craving meat, just eat the real thing. All right? If you are very sketchy about where your meat comes from, eat organic meat. There's organic meat out there that's grass-fed. All right? But to say that all meat product is bad, they, they try to capitalize on this vegan trend. Trust me, I was on this bandwagon myself and I stopped. It's not a good thing. You feel like crap. It's best. Look, if you want to be healthy, it's best for you to fast than it is for you just to eat vegan food. All right? That's it. It's better, more beneficial for your body to fast than it is for you, for you to eat vegan food. Or just not eat at all. It's better, let's it say it is. It's better, it's, better, it's better for you just to not eat at all than to eat vegan food. Let's say that. It's that bad for you. It's not good. There's all these chemicals being injected in this beyond impossible burger, whatever it is. You don't know what's the in, in the ingredient. You don't know what kind of GMOs in there. All right. And they try pushing this agenda, this vegan agenda. All right. This vegan thing is pushed by the the New World Order, the the UN. All right. To de de depopulation, to depopulate the people, eugenesis program. It's all entangled with each other. It's all tied up with each other. All right? It's to reduce the population. That's what it is. When you're vegan, you're mainly sterile. <laughs> In my opinion, I think that's what's going to happen. If a guy's on vegan the whole time, he's going to be sterile. I mean, he can't produce. All right? He's shooting blanks. In my opinion, that's what it is. I'm not a doctor. I can't say it. I can't vouch for it. But that's what I think. If you go vegan, you can go sterile. You become a soy boy, and soy and most vegan food have soy in it. And soy is known to have adverse c reaction. It is a, is a, soy is an estrogen mimickers. It produces estrogen estrogen in your body. And if if if, it, if anything serve you, if, my, if it serve if, if my memory serve me correct, that estrogen is very dangerous to men. All right, estrogen is a type of poison. All right, estrogen it feminizes men. Men are not supposed to eat that much estrogen, all right? And you know what creates testosterone? Meat, all right? So it's, it's tied with another theory that there is the reason why they're feeding vegan meat, all these soy byproducts to boys, is to effeminize them, to make them more sissier. Why do you think all vegan guys, they're sissy? They're, like, they're the cucks, they're soy boy. Doesn't make sense. Add two, one, one plus one equals two. All right. Why do you think all these vegan guys are so effeminate, so sissy-like? They don't even have a shred of masculinity in them. All right. Beta as hell. Don't you see that? You don't see all these vegan men. They're so beta. All right. It's agenda. It's agenda driven. Don't eat it. If I were you guys, if I see all these beyond impossible meat, whatever it is. Right? Don't eat it. Skip it. Get the real deal. Get the meat. If you meat is very beneficial. Meat helps create testosterone. Testosterone help you improve your body better. Alright? Estrogen is poisons. Alright? Estrogen make you fat. People don't know that. Estrogen make you fat. When you see a lot of people that have fat cells in the body, that means they're overproducing the estrogen hormones. Alright? Their hormones is out of whack. Eat more protein. Have more testosterone in, in your body. All right? That's how you burn fat. If you want to burn more fat, just fast. That's the best way to get get rid of weight. Fast for one week. Eat. 
another week, fast for one week, eat another week. All right, you gotta be master of your domain. Over overpower your physical body. It's all mental. That's what it is. But but I need to digress on that. All right, if you if you think this is a uh, agenda driven that try to people try to make people eat meat, less meat. All right, if you agree that Burger King are have an agenda, clearly have an agenda. If you think veganism is BS, let me know in the comment below. Do you favor veganism? All right. Are you for vegan veganism? Do you think if you if you're craving for meat, might as well have a burger, a real meat burger? All right, let me know you agree. All right, I'm not. I'm just let you know I'm not monetized by YouTube. That means I'm not bounded. I'm not scripted, unrehearsed, unedited. That means I'm not. I can say anything I want. All right, if you like what I do and you like my message and want to help me spread my message. I'm not in for fame or popularity. I just want to spread my message because I believe God sent me here to let people know what's up, what's going on in the six set world. Please, most definitely like, share, and importantly, subscribe, guys. Help me reach that goal. Subscribe. And on that note, guys, let me know if you agree. This is the Highly Evolved Podcast. My name is Safan. I'll check you guys in the next broadcast. On that note, guys, you have a good day and peace.